All right, so today we're actually going to be dressing up the 5.3 liter that's going into the 1968-69 Chevelle that we've got right next to us. We are going to be installing an electric water pump kit. This kit is by the guys over at Proform. If you guys look at the part number, it actually comes out to a part number for a big block Chevy, but Proform also sells a set of adapters that will allow us to install the big block Chevy water pump onto an LS. I think the reason they actually do that is just so they can simplify their part numbers and they only have one water pump for both engines. So in order to get this process started, we're gonna have to install these adapters first. These adapters come with the appropriate hardware and it comes with a couple sets of gaskets that we're gonna need to get this thing installed onto the engine. So let's go ahead and open up the package and get this process started. So the spacer adapters actually come with two different sets of hardware. A set of smaller bolts that run uh, hex number six, and then we have the larger bolts that are a 516 Allen. So we're going to be using a combination of those to actually get these things installed onto the block. The smaller ones hold the adapters onto the block and the larger ones hold the water pump onto the adapters. So we're gonna be using the smaller one first and that's gonna be the number six Allen. At first I was a little bit confused because the adapters didn't quite bolt onto the block and then I realized that this particular engine has the cylinder head overhanging off of the cylinder block so what I ended up doing was I ended up machining a little bit or not really machining but I took a die grinder put a nice little 45 degree cut on here and then I notched it a little bit down here and then I was able to get everything to fit properly with plenty of clearance. I went ahead and I reached out to the guys over at Proform to see uh, what the deal was and they informed me that some applications require a little bit of clearancing and some don't but they're currently designing a new version of these so hopefully in the near future uh, you guys won't have to do this so whoever currently owns a set of these just be aware you might have to do a little bit of clearancing most of it is on the driver's side but you have a little bit on the passenger side as well and same thing is just so that it hits here it doesn't hit the front cover it hits the gasket itself so it could just be a matter of a different gasket or whatever it might be now in between the adapters and the block we have a set of regular factory style gaskets and these just go on right here since these are silicone o-ring gaskets in order to keep them from sticking and tearing whenever we take it apart we're going to be using a little bit of dialectic grease and we're going to be putting that on the surfaces of the adapters and then a little bit on the cylinder head as well you're going to want a clean surface on the cylinder head because we're not using any kind of sealants. If you wanted to, you could use paper gaskets instead along with a little bit of silicone. Or if you use a light coat of silicone, you can do that on the silicone gaskets as well. But that's not really recommended because next time you go to take these off, it's going to separate and you're going to have to buy new ones. So in order to save a little bit of money next time we take this apart, we're going to go ahead and coat it with some dialectic grease. And then we're going to show the next couple steps. I just finished bolting on the adapters onto the block. I used the same torque specs as you would with the standard water pump since we're using the standard gasket. Right now that I've got everything installed, you can kind of see where you would need the clearance. And this head right here, it's got a couple thousandths overhang onto the block. And although you can't really see it on camera, it's pretty obvious in person. So it's just a minor trimming that you have to do right there. And then on the cover, it's just gonna be right there. I guess you could always trim either the cover or you can trim the adapters, but it's just a little bit there. And then there's a little bit right over there as well. So it's just those two and then this guy right here and everything bolts on perfectly fine. So we can go ahead and move on to the more fun step and that is actually bolting on the water pump itself. So we've got a Proform electric water pump. This is, like I mentioned before, for a big block Chevy. Let's go ahead and pull this out of the package and see what's inside. All right, so I've got the water pump out of the box. As you guys can see, we got the nice blue electric water pump. We've got the radiator fitting. We've got a little wiring harness there. We have a set of bolts. Uh, weirdly enough, the adapters also came with a set of bolts. So we can choose from a shorter bolt or a longer bolt. Lucky for us, they both use the same 516 hex. In the front, we have the paper gaskets that the water pump came with. Uh, my lovely assistant, Anthony Armijo, is installing these paper gaskets. The only reason we are installing them with RTV onto the adapters is because we are planning to take this water pump off more than a couple times. So when we go ahead and take the water pump off, we don't want the gaskets to come with it, so we're RTVing them onto the adapters, but we're going to be installing the same dielectric grease that we installed on the O-ring gaskets up on top, so that way 
although the gaskets will stick onto the adapters, it will not stick to the water pump and hopefully will have a leak-free seal. But in all, for all intents and purposes, if you weren't doing this for your own car, I would recommend doing RTV 100%, just, you know, for safety. In another video, I'll be showing you guys how to route the cooling system itself onto the radiator. So watch out for that video. In the meantime, we're going to finish this up. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Rancher and California Auto Works, signing out.